Hello, we're going to look at how to create a digital portfolio today to put our school work into and also talk a little bit about ourselves. So first thing we're going to do is go into your Google Classroom here, go up in the top right corner under Google Apps and click on that and go down to this icon right here, this blue icon that says Sites on it. So click on Sites once and it will pop up this space here. Up in the top left corner, there is a little uh, plus sign that says blank on it. We're gonna be creating a blank site, so click on that. And once we're here, we're going to be doing a couple things to kind of customize our page. The first thing we're going to do is go in the top left corner up here, and we're gonna click on that until it turns blue. And then I'm just going to hit backspace on my keyboard. And I'm going to put in my portfolio and a dash and then lot. So my last name. So my portfolio, then lot. So I've named my site here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rename the header. This area is called the header right here on our site. So we're going to click on the very end and that blinking cursor will appear. And then we're going to click backspace and we're going to get rid of your page title here. And we're going to put our name up here. So my can say Mr. Law. Do that. Okay. So you can change this a little bit. So if you want to click and drag to the left, this will go blue. And you can make it bold or make it italic if you want to get a little bit more fancy. As well, this whole piece right here. I can shrink it down by grabbing the blue bar on the side or grab the blue bar on this side and I can move it a little bit. Or I can grab the top of it. You can see that those four little arrows kind of appear and I can actually move it over to different parts of my header. Or you can leave it in the middle, whatever works for you. Next thing, this dark blue background or gray background, we want to change that. So click on change image right here. We're gonna go down to select image. And you can see you have a lot of different options. Make sure you're under gallery right here and you can scroll down and I'm going to choose this one right here. There should be a check mark and click select. Okay, looking a lot better. So we're gonna add a couple pieces of information. Uh, first of all, let's start with our favorite food. So I'm gonna go up to the right-hand side here. You can see there are three different buttons up here. The button we're going to be using is the one called insert. And then what we're gonna do is you can see there's a thing called text box right here. You just want to click on that once. And you can see a blue text box appears here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm typing my favorite food is pasta. with lots of sauce. Okay, so there we go. So now what I can do is, I, if I think this is a bit too small, I can click on this little down arrow here and change it from normal text to heading. And that will make it a lot bigger. So heading is a lot larger, which is gonna be a bit easier to read. Okay, so we've got our first little piece here ready to go. Down here, we wanna put an image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to our sidebar here. There's insert and there's images right there. So we're going to click on images. We're going to click on select. And we're going to do a Google image search right here. So you can see there's a Google image search. So I'm going to type in pasta. Hit enter and you can see there's a lot of different types of pasta. So hmm. Uh, I like this one right here. So all I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go down to where it says insert here and it will put my pasta picture right here. So there we go. Now these little blue uh, circles, you can make it bigger or make it smaller or drag it out, but I'm going to keep my pasta about that size. Okay, nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another text box here. So we're going to go up to text box. Okay, I'm gonna change the text type to heading right there. 
And I'm going to say, uh, I have a cat named Fluff. Okay, so then what I'm going to do below here is do exactly the same thing I did up here. So I'm going to go to Images. I'm going to go to Select. And I'm going to click on Google Image Search. And I'm going to look up Fluffy. So let's see, maybe this one, it's kind of like my cat. I'm going to insert that. There's my cat. Okay, and we'll do one more. So we'll put in text box. Um, we'll change normal text to heading. And my favorite color is green. Oops. There we go. And down below here, I'm just going to go to click on images. I'm going to click select. And I'm just going to type in green. There we go. Actually, I could put in a lot of different greens here. So I'm going to choose maybe this one. It's kind of a cool picture for something that's green. Okay, so there we go. So we have our website with our um, name of it up here. We've got our name here, and we've got some text here. We've got an image, text here, an image, and text here, an image. Now, you don't have to put in exactly the same things as I did. For example, you like to put in what I'd like to be when I grow up or uh, a place you've been to, you can choose anything you like, but we would like you to put in three different pieces of text and three images. So it can be whatever you like. Okay, have fun.